Now been more than two weeks since a new safety initiative started at 86th Street and the Monon. The intersection is considered one of the most dangerous crossings in Indianapolis. Yeah, that's why volunteers added some yellow bollards and rumble strips. They were trying to slow traffic, but as our Marion County reporter Lauren Costick explains, drivers are now doing more damage than good. Since this project started, 11 of these 13 bollards have been damaged by cars. And the whole point of this project was to make this intersection safer, but it's also proving just why it's so dangerous. Just last month, several bicyclists and pedestrians told 13 News they're frustrated with the crossing at 86 in the Monon. It's so bad. It's so dangerous. Every time I come over here, I feel like I'm going to get hit. I kind of almost stare them down to make sure they're looking. Weeks later, 50 volunteers launched a tactical urbanism project to slow down traffic on the busy road. The volunteers bumped out curbs, added rumble strips and yellow bollards to alert drivers of the changes. Uh, within two days of installing the bollards, uh, five were already down. Connie Zabo Schmucker is the advocacy director at Bicycle Garage Indy. She and several other volunteers went back Tuesday to reinstall the bollards only to find only two of the 13 ballers were still standing. Only two. One is still missing and another is damaged beyond repair, costing the project about a thousand dollars. You have to understand that every baller that's hit, that could have been a person standing there. Also this summer, Indy DPW is applying for a federal grant to add a pedestrian bridge to the crossing. The application was submitted last month with community input. But Connie says pedestrians can't wait, saying this project is more proof that permanent measures are needed sooner than later. We need to make that intersection as safe as we can right now. And this project will be here all the way to September with plans to add more to it throughout the months and to also do a study. In Indianapolis, Lauren Costick, 13 News. And want to let you know there is also an opportunity next week to get involved in the conversation here. Bicycle Garage India is hosting a virtual summit that's happening next Tuesday. And advocates will discuss the next steps to create a safer Indianapolis as well as efforts to create a vision zero policy.